everybody, it's Josh, Rambling Redeemed. Just wanted to get on here and make a quick video. Um, so we lost, South Carolina lost, lost to Georgia, 40 to 13. Uh, I believe everybody realistically expected that. There were a few people who have voiced their opinions and apparently were very disgusted with how we played. Uh, they're very disgusted with Beamer. They think he ought to be fired. Uh, they think that Luke Doty ought to be benched, that he is not the answer. Uh, Beamer's not the answer, and um, a lot of that being spread in a lot of different groups on Facebook, Instagram, uh, seen a lot of it on Twitter, and I just kind of want to get on here and just talk about that for literally about a minute, uh, if you'll listen to me. Um, I kind of put a post in the Gamecock Forever page, it seems to have got a lot of love and not a lot of hate at all, and I'm glad to see that the way I think is like other people. Carolina fans, for the most part, think it's in a lot of positivity, and that's really what I want to push is positivity in the fan base. I believe with all my heart that if we're going to see a change in our talent, it's going to obviously start with the coaches, it's going to start with recruiting, but I believe recruiting falls back a lot on the fan base. Uh, all the negativity that's being spread through these keyboard warriors and um, maybe a few of them are just a little too intoxicated and have just allowed themselves to be starstruck by the fact that we got beat by the number two team in the nation, probably number one uh, by the time Tuesday's polls roll around. Um, I feel like if we're going to have these next DJ Swearingers, the next Jadavion Clownies, the next Stephen Garcia, Connor Shaw, Dylan Thompson, Mike Davis, Marcus Lattimore, uh, if we're ever going to have those again, I don't think being negative and trashing the team that's on the field right now, uh, I don't think that's going to help us get big players. And uh, you might say, well, it's all about the money now, and it's all about this, it's all about that. Well, seeing what was on the field tonight actually gave me a lot of hope that maybe the money is not going to be the big a deal as I thought it was. Maybe it's not going to be all about the getting famous and all of this different stuff anymore. Um, I saw a team go out on a field, pour their heart out, play their heart out, and they didn't give up. Didn't give up the entire game. Um, Luke Doty come in, he busted his butt, he ran on what we can only assume is a definitely not 100%, you know, foot. I, I'm sure he still has some nagging pain in that, uh, which is why Zeb got the start. Obviously, Zeb had to sit out the rest of the game. He got hurt. Um... He busted his butt. Defense busted their butt. Um, special teams busted their butt. Uh, the entire team gave it everything they had. Uh, Shane Beamer, I love everything I saw from the coach tonight. Did he maybe call the wrong play? I don't think he called any of the plays. I guess that was Satterfield, Coach Sat. Um, maybe I didn't like the fact they ran on first and 10, then second and 10, but I'm not the coach. My opinion doesn't matter on that. Um, we've got to trust the coaches. We got to know, we got to trust that they have a plan, and that they know better than us. They've been in the facility. They've been there since spring. They know what's going on with the players. Um, we're still working with the Must Champ staff for the most part. Beamer did not recruit these players, and he's working with what he has. And I'm not saying that the players are garbage and that if we had a different set of kids in there that we would be way farther down the road. I'm not saying that at all. In fact, I love the players we have. And for the most part, every last one of them look like they're giving it everything they have. They act like they believe in it. And I believe if the players believe in it, I think us as fans should believe in it too. They're putting their bodies on the line. Uh, they're putting concussions on the line. They're putting their futures on the line to go out and bust their tail for a school that they believe in. Um, I don't think there's many NIL deals on our team, so they're not going out there to make a check. Um, I believe that they believe that Coach Beamer is here. I believe they believe he believes. And I believe that they believe he believes because I believe he believes. There's a lot of belief here. Um, and this may just sound like a big positivity bomb. Well, this is what it is. I'm basically saying South Carolina fans, we need to be positive. All this negativity just needs to stop. I think if somebody is being negative that 
we should not go after them and be mean to them and be rude to them, but I think we ought to let them know that um, they are the odd ones out, that the fan base as a whole, we're going to be like coaches pushing the love mentality, the hope mentality, the team mentality. Um, we are one. We are South Carolina. We are Gamecocks. And no matter what, we are going to trust that change is on the way. He's already changed the way that we think. The coaching staff's already changed the way that we think. Uh, it's not the negative, boring, drawn-out, selfish mentality of last year. Already he's turned our mentality around, and I think we've got a lot of good stuff to come. So that's all I really got to say. Um, let's put the negativity behind us. Let's all be positive. South Carolina, I think we've got a lot in store. I think we've got a lot of good things coming. Um I believe in the team. I believe in Coach Beamer. And I think we've we've got a good thing coming down. we just got to be patient. Let's be patient. Let's be positive. And uh, until next time, Josh Ramlin Redeemed. Let me know in the comments if you agree with me. If you don't, feel free to tear us up. We're not going to delete your comment. We're going to let it roll. Um, everybody's welcome here. Carolina, speak up. We love y'all. See you again next time. Spurs up.